All right, Shalom Yasharala, back again with another low with an edifying video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem Shai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Racha Kodash. Next up, the honors unto the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Who still guard her to the hollows and bowels and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her will. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Akims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, and boldness, righteousness, and sincerity to the best of their abilities. And uh, this video right here to the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, is pretty much going to be on this scripture right here. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the most side. Right. So we used to, so we used to, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you so-called uh, Hebrew Israelites, man. You know what I mean? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, when you go to the uh, to the house of the most high, which is the men of the Lord, you know, man, you know, because the scripture says in Matthew 18 and 20, that when two or three are gathered in Lord Yahweh Shah's name, there he is in the midst of them, man. So Yahweh Bashim Shah, the God of the Bible, man, who the world really calls Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? He's dealing with the men of the Lord, man. You know, started off, started off with the head apostles of Great Millstone on down, man. You know, you keep your foot when you go to the house of Yahweh Bashim Shah. When you see the men of the Lord out there, out there teaching, you know what I mean? Dude, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man, it is best that you keep that you keep quiet, man. You know, it's best that you keep quiet, man. You know, you shouldn't, it wouldn't be really a wise thing to go out there and run your mouth to the men of the Lord, man, because you get condemned that way. You know, it's better to just go out there to the highways and hedges when you see the men of the Lord speak this, listen, and take in or get the message of what they're saying, man, you know, before you run off at the mouth, you know. Let me read that again. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot. When I go to the house of the most high, right? Meaning be quiet, man. Be quiet when you go out there to the when you see the men of the Lord out there on the highways the Bible's preaching, man. Shut up. Keep quiet, man, because you don't know nothing, man. You know, you don't know nothing. You know? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans mean you need to humble down and listen to the men of the Lord when they're talking, man. You know what I'm saying? Less talking, more listening. And the reads, And be more ready to hear than to get the sacrifice of fools, right? And be more ready to hear, man. Always be ready to, hear, to listen more and talk less, man. That's why Big Bro, <laughs> the Spirit of Pai by Shima Shah, Big Bro, I always say, it's the reason why you got two ears and one mouth. Because you do more of listening than you do talking, man. You know? And that's true. It's the reason why we have two ears and one mouth, man. Because you're supposed to listen more and talk less. You're supposed to speak less. Especially if, if you don't know the scriptures, man. You know? And you... To get the then, uh, then they get the sacrifice of foolish, right? Because man, when you go out there to the highways and byways speaking against the men of the Lord, man, don't know what question that you're asking, man. You know, then you start bucking up a little bit. Hey, man, you're considered a fool, man. There's plenty of there's plenty of times where the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways teaching, man, and then you got uh, a a a, a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American coming up, don't know nothing, man. You know, thinking that they know something. You know what I mean? Then the men of the Lord shut them down, man. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to look like fools, man. That's why the scripture says, keep that foot when that goes to the house, Yahabai Shemiah Shai, man. Because yeah, Yahabai Shemiah Shai, the men of the Lord, are dealing with these men. You know? And you're going to look foolish, man. You you uh, you being a, uh, being a fool, speaking against the men of the Lord, man. Just be quiet. For they consider not that they, like for they consider not that they do evil, right? And when the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and confusion that faces go out there, and um, in front of the men of the Lord, man, you know, they listen for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Then they start blabbering at the mouth, you know what I'm saying? They don't consider that they're doing evil, man. They think that what they're doing is the right thing, man, which is not, man. You know what I mean? Actually, what you're doing is evil, man. If you're disrupting, if you're disrupting a lesson of Yahweh by Shema you know what I'm saying? You disturb, you disturbing the spirit. That's actually being evil in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. That's why the scripture says. Just uh, be more ready to hear, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture says, even a fool, when he holdeth his lips, is counted wise, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's best to shut up, keep calm, you know what I'm saying? And just listen to the men of the Lord 
and get the message that we're that the men of the Lord are preaching, man, before you try to jump to conclusions, you know? Because if you jump to conclusions, then the men of the Lord is going to make you look foolish, man. And you're going to look like a fool bugging up against the men of the Lord, man. You know? So, hey, man, with that, the Lord in this video was edifying for you. I can judge that it's watching through the spirit. Probably how about she not shy? Before I close out, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Next up, the honors to the apostles and to the elders of the great millstone, who still guard it to the houses and bowers and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the Akim out there, who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. With that, Shalom, Kamiyashirala.